Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about five items that you seriously need in your closet. This is the perfect way, the perfect base to start a capsule wardrobe. And what is really awesome about these five particular items is this specific video is not season specific. So whether you are looking to start a capsule wardrobe or have five basics in your closet, you are starting from scratch. These five basics you can wear year round and like I said, are the perfect base to start a capsule wardrobe. So not only can you create a ton of outfit ideas for different scenarios, for different lifestyles within these five items, but these items are the perfect base to start, especially when you're going from season to season. You can add more colorful things, you can add trendy things, whatever it is, but these five items are a must have in any closet. So let's go ahead and get started. Must have number one is basic tea. So in this category, I definitely recommend going for different styles, different fits, as well as a couple of different colors. You definitely want to get white, gray, and black. These are the perfect, just basic neutral must have for a capsule wardrobe. You can see the one that I'm wearing here. I will list all my favorite basic tees down below, but I have a huge variety. You also wanna grab short sleeve, you wanna grab long sleeve, and like I said, you want different fits. So you want something a little more fitted that you can wear underneath the blazer, you want something a little bit looser on more casual days. You can see that I have a V-neck here, so here's a gray one in a V-neck, a white one in a V-neck, and then here is a scoop neck as well. Those are my two favorite styles for my particular body frame, but you can go for a crew neck, you you can go for a distressed tee, whatever it is. I will link my favorites down below, but basic tees are a must in those classic neutral colors. Must have number two for your closet basics is denim jeans. So I have four pair of jeans that I wanna show you guys. The first pair that I wanna show you guys is this skinny pair. These are from Good American. All the jeans that I'm gonna show you guys are from Good American today. You guys know I love my Good American jeans. They're so flattering. The material is amazing. The quality is amazing. They're high rise, which it's my absolute favorite fit. And just in general, the quality. If you've had a chance to try these jeans, you know exactly what I am talking about. I am a Good American partner, so I do have a 15% discount code for you guys. I will put that down below for you guys. But this first pair is amazing. So these are actually the Good Legs crop. I wear true to size, so I get a size two in my jeans. So when it comes to closet basics, you definitely want a pair of skinny jeans. So you can go distressed, you can go non-distressed. I recommend probably having both for different scenarios one for a little bit of a dressier casual versus a more you know the stress is definitely more of a casual casual um, but this pair is great they're so flattering the fit is amazing and that is what you want you want good jeans if you are looking for closet basics you do not want just like disposable clothing when it comes to creating a capsule wardrobe in your in your closet if you like I said if you are starting from scratch and that's the whole point of this video creating five basics, a capsule wardrobe, and for denim, you want to get a nice quality jean. And that's what I've always loved about Good American Jeans. They, the quality is seriously amazing. They come in every size imaginable. Every single pair of Good American Jeans that I've ever tried on has fit my body so well and been so flattering with all the different styles. But the first pair of jeans that I recommend you get is a skinny pair, and these are amazing. The next pair of jeans that I definitely recommend you guys look into is a pair of vintage style like mom jeans. I have two pair from Good American to show you. They are both good vintage. They're just a little bit different in the style. You can see that these have a little distressing in the knees. And for me, I like to fold them up just a little bit for that just kind of super relaxed feel. I also got these in a size two. These are in a little bit of a slightly darker wash. These are a more faded wash, but I love the hem on these. So these are are nice when you want a different feel. These are not gonna go out of style. These are more of a quote unquote vintage style, a boyfriend jean, a mom jean. They're all kind of within the same realm. They're usually a high rise. They usually have a little bit of distressing. You can roll up the hem or the hem is distressed, whatever it is. These are definitely a must for those more casual days. You really, really want an option like this in your wardrobe. The last pair of jeans that I also feel like is a must in your closet, but it's a little harder to find and that is a pair of white denim. How many pairs, let's be honest, how many pairs of white jeans have you tried on and you were just like, OMG, those are not flattering. They just really bring out the flaws 
that is not the case with these these are definitely my favorite pair of white jeans that i've ever owned these are the good legs by good american i also got a size two the material the stretch the weight everything about these jeans is so flattering when it comes to white jeans like i said they are very very hard to find and i know a lot of people are afraid of white denim you do not have to be that's what's amazing when you find a good pair of denim whether it's regular denim or it's white denim you can use oxyclean whatever it is i have no problems with my white jeans i have worn my white jeans in every single scenario but you definitely want to get a nice pair but like i said white jeans are hard to find but i feel like they are such a must in a wardrobe you can wear them year-round definitely that whole white after labor day thing is a complete like thing of the past white jeans are a major major must in your closet wardrobe basic number three is a good classic blazer or multiple classic blazers when it comes to blazers i also feel very similarly to basic tees you want to get some nice neutral colors creams tans camels ivories blacks grays things like that you can see the one that i'm wearing this one is very very streamlined i love the neutral color i just recently purchased this black one i haven't even had a chance to wear it you can see the silhouette is a very classic blazer but then it has these like button details down the side just making it a little bit different and then it's got the like ruching on the sleeves which is really really nice um, this is another one of my favorites this is a linen blazer you can see it's very very streamlined and then here is a very, very classic, classic silhouette of a blazer in a nice neutral color. You do wanna have a couple of these. I definitely recommend starting with at least one more cream ivory camel color and then one black so that you have both. But when you, when you are thinking about the three pieces that I've already talked about, you can wear a basic tee with jeans. You can wear a basic tee, jeans, and a blazer, and you've got two completely different looks for two completely different situations. So we're already starting to create that capsule wardrobe like I was talking about, but let's go ahead and move on to closet basic number four. This next closet basic is definitely a must in your closet, and I do feel like it is a dressier version of the first closet basic, which is basic tees, and that is going to be camis. So when it comes to camis, these can be layered underneath a blazer. In the fall and winter time, they can be layered underneath cardigans or chunky sweaters or even coats and jackets. So when it comes to camis, I like to go for something a little bit more solid like this. This does not have any detail or anything on it. You can go for something like this that has a little bit of date like lace detail on it and then you can even go for some fun ones i definitely recommend sticking in the basics and neutral category first get white cream um, get some black camis things like that and get your wardrobe started and then you can add in some funner ones but i will link these down below but again here is another layer to add you can do a cami with jeans perfect for summer and springtime you can throw a blazer on top and that's perfect for a little bit dressier casual or even depending on the style of jeans you add with it you can have a black pair of jeans with this cami and a blazer and it's a little bit dressier you can have a pair of skinny jeans with this and a cream colored blazer things like that like i said we are adding new basics to our closet and creating that capsule wardrobe just a little bit at a time the final closet basic that i want to talk to you guys about in today's video is dress pants so this is very similar to the jean category that there are so many different styles and silhouettes that I recommend. It really just depends on your body frame, what look you're going for, and things like that. This is also, again, you want to start with the neutral color. So when it comes to dress pants, you're going to think creams and camels, navies, blacks, things like that. So something like this is just a classic, classic dress pant. These are a must. I definitely recommend grabbing these in a couple of different colors. I would go for an ivory cream camel color. I would go for a navy, and I would go for a black. Again, just a a classic silhouette um, you can also grab something in a white which is so fun and fresh and then once you've got your basics down you can add stuff like a paper bag pant which are always really really nice this is again an example of a classic in a cream color and then of course this is a very similar classic but you've got the detail of the button down so when it comes to this category this really adds another layer to these five basics and pairing them together you can do a dress pant with the cami you 
you can do a dress pant with a tee and then of course you can put a blazer on either of those and you have multiple different outfits and multiple different scenario or event options for you but I really truly believe that these five items are a major must like I said I will link all my favorites within each category down below I will also put the coupon code for good American down below but I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you want to see anything else similar to this or if you want to see any like seasonal specific basics that I recommend but make sure to hit that subscribe button that notification button and I will see you guys in my next video talk to you soon bye bye